Hope. That is the only thing that can keep someone around as a Texas Rangers fan, year after year. Hope that one day the club will bring up some really good players who will help the Rangers win the pennant, maybe even the World Series. How do I hang in there? Well, it's probably because when I first uh, became a sports fan, when I was four or five years old, I lived here and the Rangers were my team. And I probably got used in the 70s, used to them, you know, falling off the wayside July or August each year. So I had three or four good months before the season sort of uh, wore off. Um, so maybe I got used to that. And in the 90s, mid-90s, you know, got great here. Uh, there were some, some great years. Uh, in fact, that's about when I started writing uh, about them. Uh, it's been lean since then, but, you know, I'm, I'm an awesome baseball. Jamie Newberg keeps that hope alive for diehard Ranger fans with his Newberg Report. For 10 years, Newberg has let Ranger fans know about the up-and-comers from the farm team to the daily hats for the big club in Arlington. Blind drive. Subscribers knew about Michael Young long before he was winning the MVP at the Major League Baseball All-Star Game. The Newberg Report has become so popular on this summer night, subscribers have come to Arlington to enjoy a Rangers game in suites and enjoy a question and answer session with Rangers GM Daniels. I grew up a Mets fan. I grew up in New York and a passionate, diehard Mets fan, but I didn't have half the information our fans have today, and a lot of that's because of Jamie. You know, I mean, he gets the information out, usually unbiased, usually pretty straightforward, and kind of gives our fans a connection to the to the minor leagues, guys, before they get here, and especially with two of our affiliates, Oki City and Frisco, so close by, I think that's a pretty big advantage. We don't get to see anything about our farm system, really, I mean, because we're so consumed with trying to do what we got to do up here. Um, you know, he's the one who kind of keeps everybody, you know, as far as who's coming up and what they've been doing and uh, how close everyone, everyone down there is getting to playing up here. More than anything, Jamie's a really positive guy, and... He's a real Rangers fan. There's a lot of people out there that aren't Rangers fans or that are not really baseball fans. Like, you know, you have those other websites where they're just basically trying to run people down. Just similar to, like, you know, tabloid journalism for, for celebrities or whatever. I don't have much use for reading those sites that are just, all they do is moan and groan and point fingers because for any of us to really uh, do that job better, and we all do, we're all armchair GMs and armchair head coaches and managers. But when we get right down to it, if you're honest with yourself, these are the best. These guys are the best at what they do, and we're fans of what they do. And certainly, we're, we're, we're disappointed when they lose, and we could just as easily second guess a bad trade as they do themselves. But I don't see a point in trying to get up on a pulpit and say, you know, I would have done this differently. And of course, they all say, all, all the people doing that say it in hindsight. You know, they don't grouse about it after it turns bad, but. That's just not my way. I'm, you know, I'm hopeful that things get better here. I have faith in the people that are running the show with the Rangers, and I think it will get better. Uh, it's been a rough year, um, and they'll admit that to you. Management will. Newberg is in his late 30s. He's a lawyer at the downtown Dallas firm of Vincent and Moyer. Newberg cranks out his reports in the late night hours before getting to work. He's your typical workaholic, and baseball is his great diversion. The baseball thing for me sort of takes the edge off what I do during um, fortunately for me, I, I can come home and, and think about somebody else's wins and losses instead of my own. So what started off 10 years ago as a Rangers update for a few of his buddies is now an enterprising website with over 3,500 subscribers. Rangers owner Tom Hicks knows Jamie Newberg. Of course, minor league players and their families know the Newberg report because they want those daily updates. Still, Jamie maintains he doesn't work for the team. He's merely a fan. Through various uh, various modes, it's really great. Uh, to a point where it's it's kind of got a life of its own, and I just, I'm just trying to keep up with it right now.